Hello everybody, Nintendo Capri's on here, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. We are at level 5-1 on the adventure mode, but we also, in the last level, unlocked puzzle mode. Now, I already played these, because I did a recording previously, and then I realized I wasn't recording. Like, seriously, that is the third time I've done that in this LP. But as you can see here, you have to finish adventure mode to unlock the rest of them. So we have six quick and easy middle mini-games here. One of which we've already seen, kind of. I mean, we've already seen this. This is what, World 3-5 or 2-5 or something was like this. So, you know, you're pretty well set to do whatever you want to do here. Except they throw a few new gimmicks out on these levels, and you're going to have to just be careful what you do. Yeah, this looks good. Man, I wish it would give me the squash, man. I'd, I'd like to have those for emergencies, not to have to use them on the spur of the moment. I, okay, I know where to use that now. <laughs> Put an extra little thing there. We got some more. Uh, yeah, this looks good. And finally, we'll put this down here in case... Oh, look at there. <laughs> yeah, if you get one of those in the middle of the bunch of vases, it'll open them all up before you're ready to see what's under them, and then you could be in trouble then. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, I'm actually recording this on the night of September 11th, which, as I said before, this probably won't be up until October sometime. But, uh, in the meantime, in the meanwhile, I just got finished watching this movie, actually. It was called... Oh, jeez, what is this? Okay, apparently if you play it over a second time, you only get $100 for it. It was giving me $250 earlier. It's going to be $250. Notice how it leaves the last row empty here. Um... Well, geez, if you're gonna do that, I guess I'll just give him time to spawn. That should be enough time right there. And that guy will be dead, and that guy will have to do something about him and him. Here we go. Yeah, so he puts plants and puts them facing the other way, so now all of a sudden you gotta plant plants on both sides of the screen. He's like, what? So now we got... Ooh, we got some... Here, let's do that. Oh, no, he's gonna vote for all those. Okay, that's good. Pretty much regardless of what plants you have on the right side, they're still going to walk to the left. It's still the left side that you need to protect, so... So don't get too panicky if you see, you know, whatever going on. Oh, boy. Watch out for this row here. Oh, we might have to watch out for this row. No, that guy should be going down. Uh, the repeater will get him. Yes. Hooray! Well, gee, that was easy. Oh, man, I should have put him on the bottom. Now i got to sit here and wait for this guy to die. And that's going to take all day, man. Yeah, well, did I, did I actually say I was watching this movie called The Man from Earth? It's a 2007 movie. Very interesting movie, indeed. So, that was kind of cool. It was on the Netflix, so I thought, you know, why not? I'm very interested in movies that take place, like, in one room for the whole movie. Like, 12 Angry Men. That's actually how I found out about Buried. Which is a movie that actually is good up until like the last two minutes, and then, as I said to Dario on Twitter, takes a complete shit on you at the end. But, you know, because everything you're hoping for throughout the whole movie, and just all of a sudden, psh, they say, nope, sorry. Try again. Oops. I like to go ahead and get this back row cleared out. And, uh, yeah. Just get some coverage on each row here. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do, you know. Do what you say, what you gotta say. We'll take care of this guy now. He seems to be. Oh, good lord, I wish I had saved him for that other guy. Maybe I can get one of your cronies to eat you up. Oh, I didn't realize I had two mushrooms on that row until just now. Jeez. Oh, but he just revived him. What a jackass. Here's another one. Can you eat two of your cronies? Oh, the crony is weakened from having to eat the first one. Um, Houston, we have a problem. Actually, do we really? I mean, that one's not. That one's dead, pretty much. As good as dead, as local H would say. You know, you go ahead. As good as dead. Crazy song. This there. Well, that's it then. Okay. Well. um... <laughs> and since this guy's hypnotized, he won't eat the plant. He'll just go on by. 
It looks like he would, because the plants are here and the zombie's coming for him, but no. Nope, nope, nope. As long as they're hypnotized, they go to the right, which is where they don't want to be. But it's an interesting, uh, take. Now, this one's actually even more fun. This is called I, Zombie. The zombies asked me to help them practice invading houses. I told them to be okay as long as no plants were harmed, so I put a bunch of cardboard cutouts on your lawn. Have fun. So these cardboard cutouts will actually act as real plants, and you'll have to finagle a way to, uh, get to them. And you buy zombies with sunshine, just the same as you buy flowers. And this is surprisingly fun, actually, in all honesty. I, you wouldn't think it would be, but it is. Like, I'm not a big fan of games where you have to raise monsters, you know, because it's like, well, that's... I don't know, it kind of defeats the whole purpose, but... So then what you're going to want to do when you start to get more sun established and you can afford to is to send out, like, a dummy zombie to absorb the squashes. Like this. And this one here, and we'll put one on here, too. Remember that the squash skips over one plant to get to whatever's on the other side of it, so... Keep that in mind. This should be enough right there. Probably need one of these for that row. And we'll need one for this row. There's no defense on that row, so we can see the dummy. Probably need one of these for that row, too. But he will last. Those football zombies, I'm telling you, they last forever. It's freaking crazy, man. Mm, even when they're slowed down. Maybe we can put one in here behind this guy. Just to spend the sun, I guess, more than anything. And we're getting sun left and right here. You can see down here how many brains you actually have, because apparently, I guess, they think you can't subtract or something. You know, like, you can't subtract one from five total to say, well, there's one brain out there, there were five, so I would have to conclude that I have eaten four. Okay, and then they give you 2, 250 for these levels when you replay them. Earlier it was giving me a thousand for these levels, so... Interestingly enough. Alright, so wh which would be the best row to pass on this one? Well, you gotta keep in mind the sun is your biggest priority, so... It's either probably row two if you can get one to last to the first two, or row five. Or even row four, actually. But the thing is, you only have enough sun for one zombie, so you're gonna want to have more sun right away. So I think we'll go with row four. That way we can get started on the other rows straight away. Oh, I didn't realize the screen door blocked the freezing effect. That's interesting. Very interesting. Huh, that's good to know, actually. Well, that helps me out, then. Put a bucket head here. And here comes a whole bunch of sun from these guys down here. Thank you, zombies. You're doing a great job. Holy smokes. Okay, we'll try one right here. Just to get rid of this plant. I actually might send two of them out here. I don't know. Okay, this row's good. Let's go ahead and send one out here. Get her done, man. So we have three rings left. And a whole bunch of sunshine that we're not going to do anything with. Because bucket heads are so tough they can outlast anything. This guy only just now got a little bit of damage done to his bucket. <laughs> and there we go, we're finished. Except for we're waiting for him to walk across, but... <laughs> do, do. And of course, stopping to eat the brain, he has to slow down and take damage. But now we're up to 7400, we might have enough to buy something else before going into World 5. So here's the third, third phase of Eye Zombie. Uh, but oh, this one's tricky. Okay, so you got the digger zombies for this one, but you also have, um, cardboard cutouts of the, whatever you call them, potato mines, so you won't be able to actually use them. So what I would recommend probably is send a digger on this one. Clients won't be able to shoot him, because he'll be behind him. And he'll just move right in and grab those sunflowers like it's nothing. And we just work from there. Once again, you have to send out a dummy zombie to absorb the potato mine. I'm thinking a dummy zombie might last long enough to get to the mine, but I'm not sure. Let us find out. In the meantime, let's send out another dummy here to absorb that one. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be... Oh, no, it's not going to explode. He's already dead. Well, this one won't have to stop to eat the thing, so he might make it. I still have to send one on this road to actually finish it. This guy's just gonna keep walking this way like a dumbass. 
So, put one there. We're pretty much good for the rest of the round. Okay. Alright. Do it. Yeah, so don't spend too much on these guys because they won't need your brains for it. Seems like they would, but they won't. Oh, we need one more. Here. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, and here comes more sun. I, I'm surprised how hard it is to come with commentary for this game. It's like, you think I'd talk about something else. Like that movie, man. Basically, the movie, the, the man from Earth that I was watching, it's about a guy that's like 14,000 years old and he's been alive since the caveman days. And, like, the thing you don't think about until, like, five minutes into the movie when he starts talking about it, it's like, oh, yeah. It's like when you watch 50 First Dates. And she says, like, how many times have I watched this tape? It doesn't occur to you, like, when she finds out about her disease, it doesn't occur to you until she mentions it that she has found out about it several times because you don't realize, well, even if she found out about it, she wouldn't remember that she found out about it. So, you know, it's kind of like that. But with the caveman guy, what you don't realize is that people realize at a certain point he doesn't age and he has to get away before they suspect something because he doesn't age. He still looks 35. So. Anyway, um... Yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to stop that there, because that's all the puzzle games we can do. I don't think any more mini games are unlocked. Nope. Okay. So in the next video, we start on level 5, 1 of the adventure. Thanks, everyone, for joining me, and next time... I already said what we're going to do next time, dumbass. Get with the goodbye -ing. Okay, goodbye. Who the hell are you? I don't recognize your voice. That's because I've never spoken on your LPs before. Have you? You sound familiar. Shut up! Bye! Jeez!